Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. This is the one and only, the original Silo Man, coming to you from an underground launch control facility in a former Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile base outside of Roswell, New Mexico, USA. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for roughly the next 15 minutes, I'm going to be taking you through some of the recent things we've done over the last two weeks. During the virus, I hope everyone's safe and doing well. What we've been doing is finishing up some of the trim work, as you're going to be seeing here in uh, what would be the living area on the upper level of the control center. We're just going through and painting the, the chair rail, and we're painting the, the crown molding, and we're painting the baseboard. And here you can see here, Carrie's going around. You can see well, the, the saw that we're using for all of the cuts. And we're just going around now and, and doing the last minute touch-ups, coming around. You can see the back storage area there through the doorway. And we just keep, basically we keep all of that area just open so we can work back there with whatever we need to do. You can see some of the plugins. I converted from quad boxes to duplexes just to make it easier. At one point, given that if this site wanted to be used commercially, then they would have that far greater amount of electricity available, which it's already in. All they'd have to do is basically just convert it. But you can see as we're coming around. Just about finished. I think we've got one more wall on the baseboard. Then we'll go ahead and lightly sand around the outlets and then we'll go through and put the second coat on the on the, the below the chair rail. And then of course we'll do the upper chair rail above it. And Carrie's just about finished there. And then we're finishing up the kitchen. Um, as I had mentioned before, one of the cabinets, they forgot to give us that corner unit there. And so we had to wait until we got it and then come to find out that the, the top piece uh, for the molding on it was incorrect. So we had to take all of that down and we cut it ourselves. I just don't have time to wait on it. Um, now we're doing work in the bedroom, you can see there, pardon the, the mess on the bed. But we're just trying to finish up all the little things that need to be done. And there you get a little bit better look at, at the kitchen area. What we're going to be doing next week is tying in all the electrical, putting in the switches, putting in a lot of the lights, um, energizing the uh, outlets. They're already wired into the panels just now, just flipping the switch. And you can see some of the, the paint in that area. Here we got Mario finishing up. We were off uh, when I made the calculations of where we were gonna put a vent for the stove. That will be the area for the stove where, where, where uh, Mario is up on the ladder. I, I need to, is when we put that one cabinet in, you'll notice that that duplex box is just too close to it, so I wanted to move it over, and that's what we're doing here. And then when that new cabinet comes in, then we'll go ahead and cover that up. We've got to repaint all of that. Everything's only had one coat anyway. And we're getting ready in here. We're going to be putting in the crown molding across the top. And so we're just cleaning everything out. And there's my honey in the background. She's doing, she's trying to clean up for some of my stuff. And couldn't do it without her. And there we've got the box in, so I'll just be coming over. Get that last cabinet up. And there we're, we're tying in the, the sink itself. We had a temporary drain in, but it's so satisfying to see the temporary kitchen get moved over now, and that's what we're finishing up on. I mean, this, 
The last few days have just been phenomenal because finally we have a true operational kitchen. It's where it's going to be. And down there is, is Mario is finishing up tying in the, the hot and cold water and finishing up all the tweaks on the drain itself. And of course that's the piece of the of the countertop that we cut out for the sink. And then we're moving everything over. And then we'll be tearing out the temporary kitchen. And in fact, that's where my little, my table, what I call my office, where a lot of times I do these videos. And that's where I do it. And there's my honey putting up all the, everything where we, I guess, re-washing everything. And then at that point, putting them in the cabinets and cutting the, the things. I haven't brought in the stove yet. I was really wanting a small one in black, but I'm having a difficult time finding it. So what we've done in the past, and in here you can see the vanity. We finally got it hooked up and we got the drain finished. So everything completely works on that vanity. I'm just not really thrilled. It was the same color of countertop as we have in the kitchen. I'm just not thrilled with it. So we haven't gone ahead and just and conked in the, the area. So I'm thinking that we'll want to get back to it and um, and here you can see we're tearing out where we had the temporary kitchen cutting back the water lines I'm just gonna cut off at the elbow that drain line and just cap it there and my rationale is should anyone or we ever want to add something to their hot and cold waters there your drain is there you're ready to go with basically with whatever you'd like to do so we're just pulling all of that out and then as you can see then I'll be moving all of this back into that area which will clear out the entire uh, upper level. But back on the stove and then at that point we could come across the top of the cabinet and a vent. And here's just some of the material we used when we tore out the, um, the temporary kitchen. We'll be getting rid of all of it. Got to pick up some extra baseboard and just minor things there in that utility room. Uh, once we finish this electrical and get everything tied in, the lights put in, then at that point all of that will come out of there. And we still need to put the baseboard in hit the bottom of the, the walls for the utility room. And there you're looking in from the office into the storage area. Same thing, you're looking on the back side of the. I may change the position of that door. I didn't mean for it to open that way, but I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, originally, I've got a big uh, unit that's gonna go in there, so I need to change the way that door swings. And in the storage area slash closet. We'll be getting all the emergency backup lights will be going in next week. Also the light fixtures, ticking and tying the circuitry. And, and if I can, I, the, the molding that we used was from a, a real nice uh, subcontractor. And uh, of course he's shut down right now. So I'm, I'm not sure how long we're going to have to wait till I can get that. I'm, I always try to support local folks because in your community that really helps. And uh, again, you can see us moving the stuff over into the kitchen, new kitchen. I went ahead and, and had Mario move one of the uh, outlets. It was a little too close. And I want we wanted to move it over for the refrigerator itself. And we were gonna get ready to start painting uh, the lower portion below the chair rail. Well, we got the refrigerators moved in. That little bar safe that used to look like a safe is really just a little refrigerator. We keep soft drinks and things like that in it. And then of course the, 
another refrigerator. We just didn't need a big, big, giant refrigerator. You can see now where I'm moving the office over, or my, my, uh, my, my laptop and screen and everything like that. But what a cute little refrigerator. I can get the same color for the microwave, so I've really been thinking it's really retro. So I think it'd go really well with the black. And so I've been thinking about doing something like that. It's really inexpensive and all people, but it would go with the color of the refrigerator, which I think would just be would just beautiful. So And again that's where that's where the stove will go. And it'll be electric. And there's the baseboard that we're putting in the bathroom. And you'll see we need to come in behind the toilet itself. And then we've got a couple of small pieces. Makes it, makes it pretty nice. And there was their temporary kitchen area, which will just be storage, but right now I'm just using it for the, the office. You can see the water dispenser. I think we're going to keep the water dispenser in here. Just because it's so ugly. And um, <laughs> there I've got everything together on the little table. Of course, I left the storage rack in there. And we're finishing up. You can see there's another piece coming from the shower to the doorway for the baseboard. See our temporary light there is just a handheld light. So I look forward to energizing the, the switches and, and the lights going in. I've had the light for this bathroom for ages, but just not put it in yet. And again, we got the baseboard there behind the toilet. The need to put in the toilet uh, paper dispenser and I mean just obviously odds and ends. You can see coming in next to the vanity where we put in the, the baseboard behind the door. And then nearly a finished pro uh, project with the kitchen area. That open area that you see above the sink area. Originally I had designed that for uh, a really beautiful mosaic of an Atlas F taking off, in essence being launched. And just a phenomenal area. I have a very dear friend that uh, she does that type of work, custom work on tiles, so I thought it would really be a focal point for that, for that kitchen area. And that's one of the reasons that I kept it so wide. Uh, there will be a light up there, but I still wanted to have the mosaic kind of feel as when you walk in and see that. And now we're on the lower level. We're just finishing up a few things on the trim itself. Ran out of baseboards, so now I've got a few extra pieces we're gonna go ahead and cut right in. Another thing next week we'll go through, that brown's coming out of there. We'll go with different cover plates, color. Um, and also straighten up all of the, the outlets themselves so it's, it looks very uniform. Well again, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, it's been a pleasure. Uh, doing these and also if you would please subscribe if, if you haven't I, I try to do one to two of these a week and hopefully we'll be getting into more soon as I bring more people in I've got to put some new lighting in the silo so things are really going to start to change but at least we're getting the upper level finished uh, again if you would please subscribe click that bell for notifications and if you like it please click the like button if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them. I try to, to answer everything I can. And again, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. 